Hey folks, rainy day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, but check this out. Look what I made yesterday. 360 degree photo of Lake Chickamauga, all done with the DJI Mavic Pro. And believe it or not, it was fairly easy. Come on, I'll show you how. All right guys, good morning, good morning. Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out another Mavic video. Today we're diving back into the Litchi app. And uh, as mentioned before, I really don't use the Litchi app other than for waypoints. However, I have found a cool new feature that will allow you to take 360 degree photos that you've seen probably on Facebook, and uh, other uh, forms of media that uh, you can uh, scroll around, take a look at the picture. But we're gonna do that. Apologize a little bit loud, we're out here by the road. But uh, we're gonna take a look at that, we're gonna show you how that's done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap to focus. On your top left, the FPV, hit that. You wanna hit Pano. And then on the left, you want to check your settings. And mine was already defaulted. You want four rows. You want your top row angle to be uh, 15%. Photos per row, eight. Width for uh, 360 degree photos. Whatever that uh, is at two. Capture strategy, row by row. Uh, don't have to worry about wait time. And there you have the settings, so you can pause it if you need to. So at that point, we've already tapped to focus, hit start. So now the Mavic will get in position and it is going to start firing away. Panorama ended. All right, at this point, you just bring it on home and head to the house and start editing. All right, guys. Hey, uh, now, once you have taken your photos with your Mavic, you need, there's two other uh, pieces of software that you'll need. You'll need the Microsoft, just search Microsoft Ice. It is the image composite editor. And you'll also need Photoshop. Or possibly uh, GIMP is a free video, I mean, a photo editing software that may work. It's free, G-I-M-P, but you'll need to, uh, you'll need to be able to uh, resize your canvas and uh, the photo. So, having said that, we'll go ahead and jump right into the uh, image composite editor. We'll go ahead and get, uh, click on new panorama from images. Right here's all the pictures we had taken with the uh, Mavic. Should be 34 of them, so we'll go ahead and grab all of these. Open those up. There's all our photos. This software is super simple. Make sure you're on simple panorama. Go ahead and stitch. Sit back. Takes a uh, minute or two on this. Okay, now that it is stitched, you need to make sure, just make sure it's on spherical. Then uh, auto orientation, all that zero. And it defaults to that automatically anyhow, but just uh, be sure and check that. Hit your crop. Okay, from this point, uh, it's starting to look like a 360, the beginning of a 360 photo. So, But you see you got some wavy lines. Just hit the auto complete and it will fill that sky in.
All right, now that it's filled that in, at this point, now we just export it. Go ahead and leave all your settings here. Uh, don't have to mess with any of that. Now, I will change, uh, change your quality to 100 to make sure it's uh, superb quality. Then we'll go ahead and export to disk. AFB360. And we'll save it there. Okay, now that that is exported out, next step will be to go in and uh, grab that photo and export it into Photoshop. We will drop that in here. Okay, from this point, what you will need to do is go into your image tab. You'll need to go into your canvas size. We will click this down arrow here. That way it's just resizing everything here. And it will leave you a black bar up here, but that's okay. Uh, you could either edit that in and fill it in later, but you want to change your aspect ratio 2 to 1. So we'll leave our width and you don't need to change this number but you need to uh, again be 2 to 1. So now we'll need to change this to 10,240. 10,240. We'll click OK on that. Okay so now we have the photo looking like this. Go back to image. Now we will resize it. Facebook gets a little finicky on the size. Again, keep it a 2 to 1 ratio. Width, we'll do 10,000. Do the height at 5,000. Go ahead and OK that. Boom. Now at this point, we'll save. So a Facebook 360, we'll just put a 2 on the end of it, so we know it's been edited out. Okay, we are almost there. Now, at this point, we need to go back into the photo and change some of the properties to it. Go ahead and right click on the picture. Go ahead and go down to your properties. Click on details, go down to camera maker, and we'll just put in the Rico and the model. We'll tell it it's going to be a Rico, I believe that's how you say it, Theta S. And we will apply that. Okay, so that's once that's been done, it is complete. So at this point, you should be able to go into your Facebook. We'll go ahead and upload a photo. We will go in and find our Facebook 362. All right, it already says, say something about this 360 photo. So it looks like it's doing it. The moment of truth. So it has uploaded. Let's see if let's go ahead and post it. We'll make sure it looks right. All right. Looks like we have a 360 photo. You can click and drag to look around. And the stitching on that, I mean, it's just amazing. But as you can see, the stitching on that, I mean, for it to be 34 photos, I mean, it's almost seamless. All right, and there you have it. That is how you create a 360 photo with the Mavic. Seems like it's uh, kind of complicated with all the steps, but it's really super easy. 
so tr give it a shot if uh, you have the Litchi app. It is definitely worth checking out. But thanks again for stopping by and checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Many more Mavic videos on its way. Thanks and make it a great day.